Hello everyone, uh, my name's John from Tamworth in Staffordshire. I've been around AM, FM and sideband and CB radio since about 1980, but uh, since then I've been absent from the air for about 35 years. For some reason or another, I've decided to have another look at it. So we've bought ourselves this little President McKinley uh, CB radio. Mostly I'm going to use the CB uh, radio at home, but as you can see, we've got um, uh, an American motorhome project. And next year when we get that out on the road, uh, we will be taking the CB uh, with us uh, and I need to find a nice aerial for it. First glance out the box, the McKinley looks a really nice radio, looks well made. Uh, we saw lots of um, uh, YouTube uh, reviews on this and it uh, yeah, got some good ratings. Uh, we bought this one from um, from Knights uh, up up uh, up north North Lincolnshire. Yeah, in fact, we we bought most of the equipment from uh, from Knights this week, and they just tried to drive up there and uh, uh, went to collect it. We've got these angle brackets, uh, the, uh, the, the the fixing bolts. Uh, Gain Master 5 8 uh, vertical antenna. And some uh, 213 low loss uh, coax to link it all together. So, as it felt a bit like Christmas, <laughs> the, uh, the antenna had to come out of the box uh, pretty quickly and uh, laid it all out in the kitchen on the worktop. Uh, at which point the wife uh, looked horrified because she thought the error was probably about as big as the box but actually four pieces of the same size came out of the box. Yeah, I must say I was a bit disappointed how bent one of the poles uh, appeared to be, uh, as you can see here. So last night I decided to put the aerial together in readiness to uh, put it up uh, up on the roof uh, uh, today. When you first look at it, it looks really odd because I'm used to assembling all aluminium aerials and of course this is a fiberglass tube with this metal wire running in the middle of it. Little tip for you, um, if you do one of these, don't use insulation tape, electrical insulation tape for the joints. Uh, use this self amalgamating tape or self bonding tape. It's a little bit more expensive, but it really does seal the uh, the joints well. We, we saw lots of reviews where, uh, where this was used and this is definitely the way forward. It, it is strange tape because it doesn't have any sticky surface as such, so you, you don't actually think it's going to work. But it sort of bonds itself to you know, itself to itself. Um, so yeah, it's really good stuff. I'll put a link in the descrip description below for Amazon where you can buy it from. But you can you can get it uh, just as cheap from places like B and Q or in fact eBay. Uh, each of the uh, Jubilee clips are also wrapped up in this uh, self-amalgamating tape. Uh, and it's a probably a good idea um, to do the same for metal antennas as well. Um, it just uh, stops things from corroding. You saw our RV project earlier on in the video. And uh, we've used this tape on, uh, on that project as well for some of the plumbing pipes uh, internally. Okay. 
So today's the day. Uh, we put the antenna up on the chimney on the house. We got quite a good day today. Well, certainly up until lunchtime, we had some really good weather. Um, so uh, Rob, uh, my brother-in-law, uh, gave me a hand. In fact, he was the first one up there. <laughs> Uh, don't worry about the height you can see on the video, um, in fact you can't really see it on there but if he did fall or, or I fell, uh, there, isn't, there isn't actually uh, a long way to fall down beyond that gutter, so yeah, don't worry. Everything went up uh, really easy, um, no issues at all really. Uh, the only negative was the brackets. I didn't really rate them. Uh, they, they weren't brilliantly engineered. Uh, quite cheap, really. But uh, we may do. They did the job. I didn't get a power supply from Knights or anywhere else. Everywhere seemed really expensive for, uh, for a decent... Um, you know, high ampage power supply. I wanted something that was a bit uh, future proof. Um, so I saw some reviews from a guy named Fred in the Shed on uh, YouTube, and he was using one of these power supplies you can see in the video. And uh, well, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, to put that into context, uh, you know, 20 30 amp power supply for a CB designed for CB, you know, you're looking 1800 even more uh, pounds. Uh, these, as you can see in the video, is 20 amp, and it was 19.99. So, and after testing the SWR, which was one to one, perfect. This was our very first contact. One on a radio check. You're sounding good. Cheers, buddy. Uh, where about are you, mate? Oh, not too far from you, by the look of it. We're uh, Tamworth, Roger. Oh, excellent, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're in Tamworth. So we just got this radio today. Um, just come back on the air after, like, 35 years, so... It sound okay, yeah? Sounds absolutely superb, yeah. Your, um, your audio's good. Radio 5, and your signal strength to me is uh, 9 plus, and I'm down the Silver Link Road. Brilliant, cheers, buddy. Yeah, we're up in uh, Bobblewall. All right, mate, I'll uh, leave you to it. Thanks a lot for that. OK, cheers. That's 230 dBs on my screen. Cheers, mate, thanks for that. Well, if you're only down the road, then that's fair enough. 